dreaming of paradise, someplace out of the ordinary, exotic, but safe. Well, I've found the place for you. Fiji. Continental Airlines flies to Fiji once a week. So let's pack our bags. To get to Fiji on Continental Airlines, you have to first fly to Hawaii. Here I am at Los Angeles International Airport, checking in curbside with the Skycap. Once I checked in, I went through security and onto the Boeing 737-800. On the Hawaii flight, Continental offered both food and entertainment for purchase via credit card. Programming consisted of movies, sitcoms, reality TV, and dramas for six US dollars. For me, the coolest thing about flying to Fiji on Continental is the layover in Honolulu. I spent the day at Waikiki, snorkeling the reef and seeing the sights. Next time I fly to Fiji on Continental, I'll venture over to Pearl Harbor. After a good swim, I headed back to the airport with my wet bathing suit in hand and electronically checked in for my Fiji flight using my credit card. As I looked around, I noticed the terminal was empty. Not a lot of flights this time of day. Cool! This means no lines at security! After breezing through security, I checked out the restaurants for a bite to eat. There's a vast amount of eateries at Honolulu Airport, as well as a park to relax in, and duty-free shopping. I made the mistake of actually eating before getting on the plane. Let me clue you in here. Continental serves a lot of food on the Fiji flight. So, if you choose to eat before the flight, you'll be sorry. I'm sitting in row three, seat F, which is a window seat, and it's in first class. Yahoo! And this is May, my personal flight attendant. As the overhead display whisked through the welcome messages in every language, we taxied right on over to the runway, and before I knew it, we were charging down it. service started with drinks and nuts, which was then followed up with an entree choice of cod or steak. I chose the steak and a wine from South Africa. A chick flick was playing on the overhead console, but instead of watching, I chose to sit back and read the manual for my new camera. Of course, my eyes started to cross immediately, so I struck up a conversation with the flight attendants. The flight crew had flown in from Guam the night before, and this was their first time flying to Fiji. They too were excited about seeing Fiji. Well, after a few hours, the next course was served, and it was a cheese and fruit platter. Still full from the steak and the pre-dinner in Honolulu, I loosened up my seatbelt to try the cheeses. About an hour before landing, I was also served hot chocolate chip cookies <laughs> with milk. We soon landed in Nandi, and as it turned out, Fiji was all I had dreamed it would be. My trip to Fiji was a scuba diving expedition. I was sent to film the reefs of northern Fiji, from the Great Sea Reef of northern Banualevu Island to the south where the famous Namena Marine Park is located, and finally to the famous Rainbow Reef located just offshore from Taviuni Island. It was great fun, and filming at times proved quite challenging. There's a lot of current in Fiji's waters. I also had the opportunity to visit many resorts along the way. There are small boutique establishments that are, by any standard, over the top in service, amenities, spas, and food. 
There are a lot of activities to do here, besides scuba diving, like fishing. And if you just want to sit back and inhale the views, there's a lot of good clean air. Unfortunately, all great dreams come to an end. And for me, this dream Fiji trip did too. Before I knew it, the flight back to Honolulu was soon upon me, and I found myself back at Nandi Airport. The flight left Fiji in the morning and arrived in Honolulu late in the afternoon. For those that like the island spot, this is a fantastic flight if you have a window seat. As the plane takes off, it banks north for a view of Fiji's Mamanutha Islands, a very popular tourist destination. And finally, Fiji disappeared about a half hour from the airport with a view of the Great Sea Reef, just north of the Asawa Islands. My favorite sighting was of Swain's Atoll, an island in American Samoa, an actual populated atoll out in the middle of the grand, lonely Pacific. Just beautiful. After seven great hours, my first glimpse of Hawaii is of Kaina Point, and then the Waianae Mountain Range. Up next is the West Lock of Pearl Harbor, USS Missouri, the wreck of the USS Arizona, and Hickam Field. Thanks for watching, and I hope you too can enjoy a trip to Fiji soon. Take care.